In summer 1969, 300,000 people filled Harlem's Mount Morris Park over six weekends for the Harlem Cultural Festival, a free event showcasing black music and culture. Despite its all-star lineup of Nina Simone, Stevie Wonder and Mahalia Jackson, the festival was largely overshadowed by Woodstock that same summer and didn't return the next year. TV producer Hal Tulchin filmed the full concert series, but networks weren't interested in airing it and the footage was shelved for decades. Those who played the event never forgot about it, though. It crossed our minds from time to time, says Marilyn McCoo, lead vocalist of the original Fifth Dimension. We'd say, do you remember when we did that festival in Harlem? Boy, I wonder what ever happened to that. So imagine McCoo's surprise when musician-turned-filmmaker Questlove reached out to her and her husband, co-lead singer Billy Davis Jr., to let them know the footage had been unearthed and he was making a documentary. The couple's moving reaction watching their performance back is featured in Summer of Soul. Or, when the revolution could not be televised, which is now in theaters and streaming on Hulu. We had no idea that would be part of the film, Davis says. But seeing yourselves after 50 years was, quite naturally, very emotional. The Fifth Dimension, which formed in 1965, were riding high on the success of their first no. One hit, Aquarius, Let the Sunshine In, when they were offered a spot at the Harlem Cultural Festival. It sounded like a great idea, McCoo says. We thought it'd be a cool experience, and it'd be nice to go out there and sing a few songs for the audience in Harlem that might never see us live. Sometimes the tickets were too expensive and they might not be able to afford it, but this was free. Plus, that was a good time to show up on stage when you've got the no. One record, Davis says. Everybody was jumping up and down, and that just gave us more energy, to know we were accepted there. In the documentary, Davis, 83, and McCoo, 77, sweetly recount the unusual way they stumbled into recording, Aquarius, Let the Sunshine In, a medley of two songs from the Broadway musical, Hair. While performing in New York, Davis lost his wallet in a taxi cab, which just so happened to be found by a producer of, Hair. The man called Davis at his hotel and came to see the Fifth Dimension play live, before inviting the group to come see the controversial rock musical, which had an anti-war message and onstage nudity. Everybody was trying to get in and see Hair, because it was one of the first big musical productions where everybody was getting naked, Davis says with a laugh. We wanted to go see it, too, because nobody believed that was actually happening. By intermission, they knew they wanted to record opening number, Aquarius. They called up their producer, Bones Howe, who told them that other artists had covered the track to little success. 